Hey you guys, it's Vijaya back at you with another video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you my favorite North Indian style chicken korma. I actually posted a picture of this a couple of weeks ago and you guys were like, bring me the recipe ASAP. So here we are today. So kormas vary across India. In the south of India, they're typically prepared with coconut milk and ground nuts. In the north, they're largely nut and yogurt based. And so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. It is one of my favorite curries. It is so so tasty but also really simple to prepare but before we get started don't forget to hit me up on Instagram that's where you can stay in touch with me and of course if you're looking for the full recipe just click that info box down below and everything you need is there let's make some korma so we're gonna start this korma off by slicing up a couple of onions they're gonna be the foundation flavor for this curry so let's go all right, so I'm just gonna slice my onion down the middle like this, and it doesn't matter how you slice them up because they're gonna be fried up and then pureed until smooth. But I like to make sure that my onions are nice and even in size so that they cook up at the same rate. So believe it or not, this is the only bit of slicing that you're gonna be doing for the entire recipe. So I have this big mountain of onions. We're gonna hit the stove and start browning them up. So I have a little bit of canola oil in a pot and I've heated it on medium low heat. To that, I'm gonna add my onions. In they go. And we're gonna cook them until they're nicely browned and crispy. And this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna go nice and low and slow. It's been a good 15 minutes, and as you can tell, our onions have completely transformed. They're browned, caramelized, and my entire kitchen smells amazing. Now I'm gonna pull these off the stove and let them cool to room temperature. It's amazing how much these onions cook down. I feel like we started off with like three times this amount, but they've released all their moisture, they've caramelized, they have such amazing concentrated flavor, and now we're gonna make a paste with them. So I'm gonna add these to my blender along with a few cashews. I'm using raw cashews today, as well as a touch of water if necessary to blend this all into a smooth paste. In go my onions, my cashews, and we're gonna blend until it's nice and smooth. And this is what the paste looks like when it's done. It is rich, velvety, this deep brown color. I'm just gonna scoop it out into a bowl. So now that we've got our onions sorted, let's talk about the yogurt base. So I'm gonna create a spiced yogurt, and typically in Indian curries, there's some element that's a little acidic. So in a tomato curry, that would be tomatoes, but because we're not using tomatoes here today, yogurt is the perfect addition. So to my yogurt, I'm gonna be adding a few spices. We have a little bit of red chili powder. You can use as much or as little as you like, but typically kormas tend to be on the milder side, so I've added just the right amount, a little bit of turmeric for that gorgeous golden hue, some coriander powder, which is nice and citrusy, and last but not least, my favorite blend of homemade garam masala. And we're just gonna mix the spices into the yogurt until it's nice and smooth. I have my spiced yogurt, I have my onion paste, and I have a little bit of chicken by the stove. This is gonna to come together quite quickly, so let's hit the stove and make this korma together. So I'm using the same pot that I cooked my onions in, and I've just added a little bit more oil. It's heating on medium, and we're gonna introduce some whole spices into the mix. So I have some sticks of cinnamon, some green cardamom, black cardamom, which is the cool cousin of green cardamom. It's nice and smoky, some cloves, bay leaf, and a few black peppercorns, and they're gonna go into this pot, and we're gonna toast them off until the cloves puff up. Let's go. So it's only been about 10 seconds. My cloves are nice and puffed up. In goes some fresh grated ginger, some garlic as well, and we're gonna saute these off for about 10 to 15 seconds until they're nice and aromatic. So I have a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I always prefer cooking with thighs over breasts when it comes to curries because they stay nice and moist and tender, and they're gonna go into the pot as well. I'm gonna increase my heat to high, 
and we're gonna coat the chicken in the oil, spice, and ginger garlic mixture and cook it until it's opaque on the outside. All right, so my chicken isn't cooked through all the way, but it has a nice sear on the outside. Now I'm gonna drop the heat to medium low and we're gonna go in with our first addition. First with my spiced yogurt. Now in with my onion paste, nice and thick and creamy. And I'm gonna season up generously with a bit of salt. Okay, and now I'm just gonna mix everything through. And you wanna sort of make sure that the onion paste is nicely mixed into the yogurt and that all the chicken is nice and coated and already it smells so, so good. I'm gonna just bring this back up to the simmer and we're gonna cook this until the oil separates on the edges of the pan. This is something that I always speak to when I'm making curries with you guys. You want that oil separation because that means that the yogurt and onion mixture has cooked through really nicely. So we've been cooking this out for a good 10 minutes now, and if you look at the perimeter of the pan, you have these nice glossy bits of oil that have risen to the surface. That's how you know that your curry base has cooked out. At this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to thin out my curry because right now it's looking really, really thick, and then we're gonna let it simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes just to make the chicken nice and tender. So this is what the korma looks like when it's done. It's nice and lush and creamy. Oh my gosh, smells so, so good as well. And now the last finishing touch is to just turn off the heat and sprinkle in a generous helping of chopped coriander. How gorgeous does that look? I've so been looking forward to digging in. Let's go for it. Oh, so creamy. Mmm. Mmm. So, so delicious. The sauce is so velvety and creamy, and there's just a gentle hum of spices throughout. It's not intense, it's super duper mellow. You can get that caramelization of the onions coming through. Oh, and I love that we blended that up. That made the sauce really, really silky. The chicken is nice and tender. This is one of my favorite curries of all time. I feel like it's one of those that is a crowd pleaser that everyone can enjoy, and it's so, so easy to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, concern, comment, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. I'm gonna continue eating my curry. Bye.